All right, everybody. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we're going to start our weekly devotional. Um, this is something I've been doing with you on YouTube the last few weeks. I gave you the whole sermon yesterday, and then all week long, we're going to really focus on those two phrases, stand firm and be still. We're going to go to different places in Scripture that have them. I hope this is meaningful to you. It's something that really matters to me to keep putting Scripture in your hands. So, if you remember what was going on yesterday, we were looking at this time when the children of Israel were in a very difficult spot, right? They had just been freed from slavery. Moses is leading them. The, actually, God is leading them by, with a pillar of a cloud by day and a pillar of fire at night. And they end up in this spot where they find themselves stuck between the sea and the desert and the Egyptian army now chasing them down to kill them. They're pinned in and their backs are completely against the wall. There's nowhere for them to go. And we find that amazing moment where God parts the seas and they walk through on dry land and the Egyptian army is swallowed up and they get to see the power of God and they all fear him and respect him moving forward. So it was an amazing moment to look at for sure. And I told you that as we read our Bibles I really want us to have this mentality, right? That we're, we're focusing on this and looking at it because when we read these stories or any verse in scripture, there are things for us to apply to our lives from it. And even in these crazy moments that happened all the way back in the Old Testament, there are things for us to apply that can land in our hearts and become part of our lives moving forward, which really is the dream for Ken and I, for all of you. So I understand that you've probably never been led by a pillar of fire at night and a pillar of cloud by day. Um, you've probably never found yourself stuck between a sea, a desert, and a huge army that's bearing down on you in any way. But, but I do think for all of us, we can find ourselves in difficult spots in life, right? Spots where we're just, we feel stuck. Like there doesn't seem to be a way through. And often we can feel like our backs are against the wall too. Well, see, this is why I was drawn to that very specific place in Exodus 14 that I believe Moses not only gives us an encouraging word, but gives us the tangible tools to, to really walk through some difficult moments in our own lives. Do you, do you remember what he said? We're going to read it every day this week. So it's Exodus 14, 13, and 14 that says this, Moses answered the people, do not be afraid, stand firm, and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see, that see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. So it really stood out to me. And the thing that I really wanted us to focus on, and we kept coming back uh, to on Sunday, was that phrasing, you know, we don't have to be afraid. We need to be still and stand firm. You don't have to be afraid. Stand firm, be still, and let God do what God does. And, and I love that. And it was something I wanted to jump into with you a little bit this week. And actually, when you go to scripture, you can find that phrase stand firm all over the place. I, I, there was a lot of places we could have gone to grab that specific phrasing. So I grabbed three spots in scripture to look at, two from Paul and one from Peter, and then also two phrases from the phrasing, uh, two verses from the phrasing, be still. So I thought that'd be a lot of fun. It gives us some scripture to study together each day this week, and I hope that you can jump into that with me. So what we're going to do today is look at the first phrasing, stand firm, and we're going to look at a pretty popular place. It's Ephesians 6, uh, verse 11, and this is where Paul is talking to us about putting on the full armor of God. So I, I'd like you to grab your Bible if you have one. If you use the Bible app, that's great. I want you to get something to write with, and when you grab that stuff, we'll get started. So here's the verse, and, and we're going to read it and look at this and then add some verses to it. But uh, Ephesians 6 verse 11 says this, put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. I've been reading the NLT lately, so we're just going to hang out in that. But this verse is really exciting today, and it's something I want us to focus on. And to help you kind of see where we're at, we're going to add a verse on either side of it here. So check this out. Paul speaking here. We'll go to 10 and read uh, through 12. It says this, a, a final word. Be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For what we are not, for we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. 
So I'd like to ask you three questions about that, what we just read. And I want you to reflect on this. I want you to kind of think about this and personalize this for yourself. The first question is this. What can you take from this passage in the moments when you find yourself in a difficult spot? The second question is this. Why would Paul tell us that we must be strong in the Lord? Why, why would we need to wear God's armor and stand firm against the devil's schemes? What is that implying? I'd like you to think about that. And the last question is this. Do you walk through life intentionally with the understanding that you are living in a world at war with an enemy who wants to take you out? Do you see the implications of living an intentional life? Or do you see the implications of not living intentionally at all about this spiritual battle? What's your mindset here? I'd like you to reflect on that today. So before you move on from this moment, take some time and pray. I'd like you to talk to your Heavenly Father about the scripture we read, about these questions and, and, and what you're turning to in these moments. I want you to see where you're finding strength and, and hopefully you can keep reflecting on this verse all day long. There'll be a, a, an image that'll go out with this. Grab that image, take a screenshot of it, put it on your phone and keep coming back to Ephesians 6.11, especially when you feel like your back's against the wall. Ephesians 6.11 said, put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. We'll see you tomorrow.